Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Our first problem is a routine problem. Mr. De La Cruz's monthly income is 30,000 pesos. The pie graph at the right shows his monthly income subdivided by the given rate. How much his monthly budget for food? How are you going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We're going to use the first step plan. What is the first step? All right, the first step is we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Yes, you are right. The amount for his monthly budget for food. Next, we should know also what are the given facts. So, the given facts in this problem are 30,000 pesos monthly income, 40% for food, 20% for utility, 10% for savings, 20% for transportation, and 10% for emergency. Yes, we already understand the problem. What is the next step? All right, the next step is we're going to make a plan. So, what strategy should we use to solve the problem? What do you think, Dancer? All right, to solve the problem, get the percentage. What is the formula how to find the percentage? All right, the formula is percentage is equal to rate times base. What is the number sentence? Very good. The number sentence is P is equal to 4 tenths times 30,000 pesos. Don't forget to change rate to decimal. We have already a plan. What is the next step? All right, the next step is we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. So, we're going to use this formula. P is equal to R times B, where P is the percentage, R is the rate, and B is the base. So, let's substitute the values into our formula. So, R is 40% or 4 tenths. B is 30,000 pesos. So, let's multiply 4 tenths times 30,000 pesos is equal to 12,000 pesos. Therefore, his monthly budget for food is 12,000 pesos. Yes, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. This is one way on how to check if your answer is correct. Go back to your computation. Check if all the given values are properly substituted to the formula. Also check the flow of the computation. Our second problem is a non-routine problem. A group of 500 children was asked to choose their favorite ice cream flavor. The pie chart at the right represents their choices. What is the angle measure of the part for chocolate as shown in the pie graph? To solve this problem, we're going to analyze and apply some known principles in mathematics. So, in this problem, it is asking for the angle measure of the part for chocolate as shown in the pie graph. So, the part for chocolate is 40%. We're going to use this concept. The total angle measure of a circle is 360 degrees. 
since a pie graph is a circle in shape. So to get the angle measure, we're going to use this formula. Rate times 360 degrees. And don't forget to change percent to decimal when multiplying the rate. So we have rate is 4 tenths times 360 degrees. And the product is equal to 144 degrees. Therefore, the angle measure of the part for chocolate as shown in the pie graph is 144 degrees. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.